Songs to the 25 Disciples The King and the 25 Disciples then asked the precious Master of Uddiyana, Please bestow upon us a profound instruction that touches the essential point, which is all-inclusive and yet simple to practice. Padmasambhava sang in reply. Amazing! King, princes, and the rest of you disciples. The true meaning is not within the domain of everyone. When heard by an unworthy recipient, it becomes a cause of slander, misunderstanding, and damaged Samayas. I have given you important prophecies about the future, but the wicked chieftains of Tibet have no trust, no matter how much they hear. Spreading falsehood, they indulge in idle talk. Nevertheless, I will briefly explain what you, out of devotion, have asked me. Now is not the time for propagating, but for each of you to correctly practice by yourselves. Since this teaching will be concealed as a term of treasure for the benefit of the future, Take the oath of secrecy. Instructing them to adhere to this command of secrecy, he first spoke to the king. Your Majesty, listen here. Take the cross-legged position. Keep your body straight on the seat and meditate. Keep your attention thought free and unconfined by mental constructs. As your focus transcends all types of objects, unfixed on any mark of concreteness, remain quiet, tranquil and awake. When you remain like this, the signs of progress naturally appear, as the clarity of consciousness that neither arises nor ceases, and as awareness 
utterly free of misconceptions. This is the awakened state found in yourself, not sought elsewhere, but self-existing. How wonderful. Listen here, devoted Sogyul of Ka Chen. Since your mind has no real identity to be shown, in a natural, uncontrived, spontaneously present state, remain undistracted within the sphere of non-meditation. Remaining like this, liberation occurs spontaneously. This itself is the awakened state. Listen here, Pagi Sengi, my eminent noble son. All phenomena of samsara and nirvana are your own mind and do not appear apart from this mind. Devoid of a self nature, beyond thought, word, and description. Don't accept the pleasant or reject the awful. Don't affirm or deny. Make no preferences, but remain vividly awake in the state of unfabricated naturalness. By remaining like this, the sign of progress is that your body, speech and mind feel free and easy beyond the confines of pleasure and pain. That is the moment of understanding the awakened state. Listen here, Warachana, worthy being. 
all that appears and exists, samsara and nirvana, arises from your own mind, a mind that cannot be grasped, free from centre and edge. In the natural state of vast equality, intrinsic and uncontrived, remain undistracted in great effortlessness. Whatever thought you think, it arises as a space of wakefulness. The awakened one is nothing other than this. When self-cognizant wakefulness is fully actualized, that is what is given the name Buddha. Listen here, Yudra Ningpo from Galmo. Your mind is not arising. No thing whatsoever is seen. Thought free, forming no concepts. Don't follow your thinking. So don't affirm or deny, but remain released in yourself. In this state, the flow of thought is cut and wisdom unfolds, drawing the line between samsara and nirvana. Listen here, Namkai Ningpo, mendicant from Nub. Your mind is simplicity, free from ego and a self. So remain in its self-occurring, self-subsiding state, free from artifice. At that moment, bliss arises from within. The signs of progress occur spontaneously. This is itself the awakened state.
Listen here, Jnana Kumara. Listen undistractedly to this instruction. Your mind was at first not created through causes and at the end will not be destroyed by conditions. So remain effortless in the indescribable and uncontrived state. At that moment, the fruition is discovered in yourself without seeking. Apart from this, you will find no other awakened one. Listen here, Galwa Kochang of Nanglang. The awakened mind of enlightenment is not created through meditation. So, free from thinking, without projecting, all dissolving thought, remain with wide open senses letting your thinking subside in itself. Within this state, your thinking spontaneously dissolves and the wisdoms occur by themselves without being sought. This is itself the discovery of the awakened state. Listen here, Doje Dujom of Nanam. That which bears the name Awakened Mind of Enlightenment is intrinsic, primordially self existing, and without center or edge. Don't correct it but in the state that is self-cognizant and naturally serene. Don't change, don't alter, but remain released into naturalness. By remaining like this, your mind free of turmoil, is itself the awakened one.
Listen here, Yeshi Yang of Ba, and train in this instruction. Your mind is unshakable when unfixed on subject and object, undistracted by effort, hope and fear, protecting and dissolving thoughts. Don't correct them, but remain in your natural state. Not to stir from that is itself the awakened one. Listen here, Pal Gyeshi of Sogpo. The awakened state of mind is unmade, unsought and self-existing. Without the effort of holding a subject and object, remain in the unfabricated state of natural cognizance. By remaining in this way, the stream of agitation is cut and ceases. Recognize that moment to be the awakened one. Listen here, Nana Myeshe, young mendicant from Shang. Leave your attention free of dualistic action. Don't affirm or deny, but remain in uncontrived effortlessness. Don't accept or reject. The awakened state is to dwell undistractedly in that. Listen here, Palgi Wangchak of Ka Chen. Leave your mind in non meditation. Don't fabricate an attitude. But without constructing, remain in self existing natural cognizance.
by remaining in that state. Without casting samsara aside, the natural dissolving of samsara's faults is the wisdom of the awakened one. Listen here, Denma Sengmang, eminent being. Your mind is devoid of subject and object and is not made. So, free from effort and artifice, don't create anything through meditation. but remain undistracted in self-existing, natural cognizance. By remaining in that state, natural cognizance is liberated. You will never find the awakened one if you abandon this. Listen here, translator Kawa Patsek of Chimbu. When letting go of subject and object, the mind is not a thing to show. Likewise, it is not to be made or corrected. Remain in the state of equanimity, not straying into fixation on concreteness. Remaining undistracted from that is itself the awakened state. Listen here, Palgi Senge of Chubu. The awakened state of mind is free from all claims to be more or less. Unfabricated and naturally free from the subject that accepts or rejects an object. Don't dwell on anything. Be utterly unobstructed. To remain in this state is itself the awakened one.
Listen here, Galway Lodro, mendicant of Dre. Your mind cannot be thought of, nor can it be observed. It lies beyond being and not being, permanence and annihilation. So remain free of the meditation on meditator and object. When you remain undistracted from that state, that is what is called the Dharmakaya of the Awakened One. Listen here, Logi Changpak, to this instruction. Leave your attention free of Noah and known. Do not fixate, but relax freely without wishing. And remain in the state of cognizance, devoid of self-nature. To remain unwavering from that is itself the awakened state. Listen to this, Drempa Namkai. Your mind, which perceives, yet is free of substance, cognizes without thought, is conscious, yet indescribable. free from the movements of conceptual thinking. Remain in that state, awake and wide open. To remain in this nature is itself the awakened state. Listen here, Palgi Wangchuk of Aldrin. Awakened mind 
is a perceiving emptiness, an empty yet luminous cognizance. Remain in its self-existing state. Don't alter or correct it. To remain unmoved from that is itself the awakened one. Listen to this, Rin Chen Chok. The identity of your attention, which consists of nothing whatsoever, is not to be held, neither is it to be created or neglected in meditation. Don't correct or alter its self-existing freshness, but remain in the original state that is spontaneously present. Within this state, don't let your mind waver, since you will never find a fruition apart from this. Listen here, Sangi Yeshi, mendicant from Nub. Awakened mind is empty while perceiving, and likewise perceives while being empty. An inconceivable unity of perceiving and aware emptiness. Remain in naturalness, undistracted from this fear. To remain unmoved from this is itself the awakened one.
Listen here. Par Guy Doge Wangchak of La Lung. The nature of your mind is not concrete and has no attributes. Don't seek to fabricate or improve it, but remain without changing or forgetting. To remain like that is itself the awakened one. Listen here, Kong Chok Junye of Langdro. Your mind is inconcrete and primordially pure, naturally empty and uncontrived. So remain in the state free from meditator and meditation object. Through this, you attain the fruition of Buddhahood. Listen here, Galwa Jangchub of Lasum. Your mind does not arise or cease, nor does it have attributes of concreteness. Empty by nature, its cognizance is unobstructed. To remain unmoved from this is itself the awakened one. All of you, apply these instructions in your experience. You may compare the sutras and tantras of the Buddha and their commentaries with words in numbers that transcend the limits of space. But the concise meaning is included in just these vital points. So practice them and hide them as treasures 
in accordance with your oath. Thus, Padmasambhava spoke, and by merely bestowing the true essential instruction upon them, they were all liberated and attained accomplishment. Sava Mangalang, may it be virtuous.